Hi there, it's Trump YDR Wire. Uh, just doing a job on my Zafira, so I just thought I'd take you through what I'm, what I'm doing. It's not so much a, uh, a tutorial or anything like that, it's just pretty much showing what I'm going through uh, and what, what's, what the problem I've got. Just to give you a bit of background, I had a uh, clutch changed on this, took it to a mechanic to change the clutch, uh, changed it, then after about a week later, I had to take it back because the clutch needed doing again. Yes, I probably should have done it myself, but I haven't got time as me. Uh, there's a lot there was COVID going on and all sorts of stuff. I was, you know, working a lot and stuff. So I uh, ended up taking it to him. Uh, he put another clutch in to uh, uh, rip, to uh, solve the problem. Uh, that still didn't solve it. So it ended up being the master cylinder, the clutch master cylinder, which, which is this. This which cost about well this one doesn't look very expensive looks like a cheap aftermarket one but this was the problem in the beginning uh the fact that they changed the clutch out probably wasn't the problem the problem was this so they changed this and put a cheap aftermarket one in uh, and now this has failed again uh which i believe it's failed on this bit here and it was like getting air in the system the problem was having was uh uh, the problem I was having, uh, it kept, I kept losing my clutch, it kept, uh, it's almost like it was getting air in the system. So uh, I tried, I took it back, uh, they said it was okay, so I brought it back and it kept failing. What was happening, well I was driving along and what happened was that the clutch completely went on it and I couldn't get anything. But what I did was I went under the uh, pedal to have a look and I just wobbled it and it came back to life. Uh, and basically this is what was happening. So every time I wobbled, wobbled, the, wobbled the pedal, uh, the clutch seemed to come back to life and then it started losing air again. Like I get up in the morning and go to get in the car and it's gone. So, uh, so I've been bleeding it and bleeding it and bleeding it and it just won't have it. It just can't get any liquid out of it, any fluid out of it. So uh, time to buy a new one, buy a decent one. I'm not taking it back to the garage, I've set them off. So here we are. Uh, the clutch master cylinder is right behind here. You can see where the hole is. It's under the cowling, so you have to take the cowling off. Uh, so, which is like two or three pieces. It's got the hood uh, cable underneath, which just clips on, so you have to take that off. It's got four uh, four bolts holding it together. Torx 25, I think, if I remember. Holding it on, so once you take that off, then you can see underneath and this is where that slots in and then you've got a pipe which goes into there and this bit clicks into that that bit there that uh circular part to the pipe there so once you've done that then you have to go behind under the pedal take the spring off uh take this out this will be there as well this is what it looks like so this is worth knowing when you go into there because you can't see jack so this just springs out like that slides in but you really can't see it when you're underneath so hopefully this will help what you're dealing with holding it in it's two two thirty millimeter bolts uh nuts holding it in uh you can get to them but you have to take the spring off the pedal as well just pull it back and, this, and the pedal will fall backwards and then uh this just obviously you'll, you'll get, have some fluid coming out so make sure you've got plenty of rags and stuff and this just comes out so uh and then obviously when it goes back in, it's, it's the reverse of it. So uh, that's where it is anyway, that's the location of it. Uh, once you can get to it, then it's not too bad. Uh, and obviously shares with the brake fluid reservoir as well. So uh, you'll lose a bit coming out of there. And then when you come to bleed it, down there, that's where the, uh, the bleed nipple is. Uh, and that's another story, bleeding it. I'm not going through that today because finding voxels are probably the hardest ones to bleed so i need to go through that and have a really good look how that's going to happen but yeah this is the clutch master cylinder uh, and this is what i'm going through so i bought an luk one or look one however you want to pronounce it which is more genuine the normally genuine parts uh, on these cars where this is just a cheap aftermarket thing still cost me 113 quid to have it put in but those mechanics have sucked off won't be going back to them so uh, this is what happens when you trust your vehicle to uh, professionals, I'm afraid. But hey, here we go. 
So uh, that's your, uh, you know, they're not all like that. I'm not going to say like it's just one or two like that. I think uh, sometimes I just want to dish these cars out. You know, hopefully the clutch is fine. Once I get all this back together, hopefully it'll engage because when it was working, it was great. It felt it felt good. So I think the, hopefully the clutch is fine. So uh, yeah, so that's it. So hopefully this has helped you and got something out of it. Thanks for watching.